All right, we are back looking at a brand new Sears model um, 139664030, and that goes to my new, brand new, there's the box, Sears 139664053 is the, uh, the Sears best model with the Craftsman on it. Uh, half horsepower, heavy duty. This one has the electronic force, so this one has the RPM sensor in it. You got the uh, deluxe wall console over here. Safety control. Lock switch. Oh, it has a nice click to it too. This also has the uh, the work light, which doesn't do anything when the opener timer light is still on, because I just closed the door. Let's go ahead and uh, run this. Again, being new, this is the uh, the original light lens, which is nice and white. Uh, I have a couple LEDs in there right now. This is the, uh, the original Traveler, the original chain, and then the chain's loose. Now, when I got this unit, right out of the box, it had a defective RPM sensor. Uh, it didn't work, so what I did was I took apart. Oh, this one in here. I took apart the RPM sensor from that quarter horse Chamberlain that I showed, and uh, I, I saw that little uh, sender receiver sensor on that right on this board, and it works perfectly fine now. It's about, I'd say it was average speed. Uh, noise level, it's not bad. I think it's quieter than some, uh, some newer operators. There you go. If I got pictures of, if I still have the pictures of uh, the before and after what I did, I'll try to include them in here. Um, no guarantees on that. No, if I didn't put the uh, everything back in the box as quickly as I did. I was uh, cleaning some stuff up in here yesterday so I can actually walk. Here's the, uh, the straight door arm. It's slotted for make really fine adjustments in the door arm. Thing was in this box. Which might be upside down. Nope. Give you these uh, nice long curved arms. Uh, some of the original wiring, the idler pulley, the old door bracket that came with these. It's pretty big. It's compared to uh, something like something like this. The radio receivers and all that came in here. I showed you those already. This one came with a, uh, a key switch. I have a, uh, here's the uh, part number if anybody really wants to find one of these. If I can do this with one hand, probably not. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, there's the key switch. Yeah, some of these keys. Yeah, kind of. Relatively simple. Uh, I believe that's what the uh, the white wire was for. It's for uh, hooking up the key switch. While we're back here, it's got all the terminals are on the back now. They used to be on the older models, older versions of this. Uh, then they had three terminals on the back and then two terminals in the front, which I believe was for the open door indicator, which it is clearly labeled here. This one, red, black, white, and black. Uh, two of those go for sensors, and then two, well, three of them go for the wall button. Um, I haven't really tried uh, using these sensors on it. So yeah, 
you can tell or not, I, I finally clipped them to the door tracks. I got them off the floor. So those are uh, nice and out of the way now. Um, yeah, and when, I, when I hung this originally, the RPM sensor didn't work, so I was kind of hoping to get uh, parts for it for a little while, and then I ended up just fixing it myself. And, well, I guess... I what I was going to say. Oh, when I, when I hooked them up originally, the green one was kind of flashing a little bit, so I don't really think that they worked with this one, as most of them don't. See if I can, uh, hold on. See if it's anywhere on here. In the box, maybe. Nope. It should be on this silver series box. That shows a picture of the kind of sensors it would take. If I can get to it. Uh, those are the kind of sensors this one would take, as well as anything made prior to '93. Uh, it doesn't offer that kind, that many accessories, though. I have the uh, the book up in my room. And there you go. The light just shut off. Uh, there is a optional keypad accessory, which I have seen. You can see this works. There you go. But it looks like uh, I, I've seen that keypad, and it looks like it has one freaking wire for every button on it. Um, they gave you a freaking key switch. Just use the freaking key switch. Less wires to mess with. And then there's the, uh, the force adjustments right on the front of the unit. Well, it's the, uh, sticker. Ooh, that's kind of dark back here. Here's the original parts bag. Uh, I didn't want to open the parts bag just for the original handle, the original rope. Or uh, that little chain bracket. That's kind of hidden in here. There, that piece. I just used it off uh, one of the other older trolleys that I had. I think can uh, get a shot on this release tag. Quick, maybe. It says, if the door becomes obstructed, detach door from operator by pull by pulling red handle sharply downward. Do not remove this tag. Uh, there's some kind of note in here with a little bag. Not entirely sure what that is. And all the rest of the general hardware and whatnot. I also have programmed uh, these five, three, seven, seven, eights, which do work. And there you go. There's the uh, the Sears one three nine six six four zero five three. New in the box.